Hello students, welcome to the second video of your solution of assignment 5. So we have solved up till question number 11, now we'll move to question number 12. And in question number 12, you have been given a diagram. So I will draw the diagram. Now this is your first ray, which is gone in this particular direction. And this is your second ray. That first ray is PQ and second ray is PR. So now you can see that refraction angle is 90. So for this refraction angle, this angle is known as critical angle. So it will it, it is represented by C. Now uh, you have to uh, also predict where the image is formed. So we can understand with this help uh, the formation of image with the help of a simple ray diagram. Now uh, you have a ray, say P R is your ray. So you will draw a normal layer. So since this ray is going from some denser medium to rarer medium, so it will bend in this particular direction, which means it will go away from the normal. Now you see P points here, pick C, pick light ray, which is normally incident ho rahi hai. This light ray is incidenting normally on the surface, so it will go directly on its path without. Now, we can see that this ray and this is our ray. If we trace it back back to this point, pe milti hui lagengi. so your image is formed at this particular point. Now, you can understand this with the another figure. Now, you have two rays. This is your point P. I will not take up the ray. Q, I will take up only ray PR. So this is your ray PR. This is your normal. So this will bend. This should be the original path, but this will bend away from the normal. So it will go in this particular direction. Now, a ray you consider karo, jo ki normally surface to incident. Hoti. Since this ray is incidenting normally, so it will go in this particular direction. Now, now you can see that if this Ray ko mein trace back karu, to ye dono rays is jayke pe milti hui lagengi. So that point is the location of your image. So this is your eye. So I hope it is clear to you. Now, uh, question number 13. Which class of levers has a MA greater than 1? How MA can further be increased? So you can, uh, you know that for which class of levers MA is greater than 1 so you can easily calculate and how can MA be further increased so MA basically can you know MA is given by load upon effort so simply MA can increase by the by increasing load for a lower effort now how is this basically if I have load arm ki sorry effort arm ki distance may increase kar do. so this ma will be increased so now you, you can take any lever jahan pe ma hamara greater than 1 hai aur agar jo usme main effort arm ki distance suppose uh, you have a, uh, this is your fulcrum and this is your effort and this is your load so, we know that the more distance we have effort, the more we have to lift our effort to lift this load. So, you can see that the effort arm is the effort arm ki value suppose 5 cm. If I put the effort arm on 10 cm, it means that the effort arm ki distance we increased. So, this you know, clockwise movement will be greater by applying a less force so it is i think clear to you so agar jo is question mein pucha gaya hai how ma can further be increased so further ma increase karne ke liye aapko kya karna padega fulcrum se jis point pe aap effort laga rahe ho uski distance ko aapko increase karna padega now in the question number 14 you have two masses m1 is equals to 20 kg and m2 is equals to 30 kg now they are kept at the same height which means h1 is equals to h2 so you have to calculate the p ratio of the p so you we know that uh, p can be represented by u so u1 
अपॉन यू टू इज इक्वल्स टू एम वन जी एच वन अपॉन एम टू जी एच टू सिंस जी जी इज सेम सो बोथ विल कैंसल एंड एच वन इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू एच टू सो बोथ विल कैंसल सो वी गेट ओन वी आर लेफ्ट विद ओनली एम वन एंड एम टू वी कैन ईजिली पुट द वैल्यू एंड सॉल्व द रिक्वायर्ड रेशो नाउ आर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज द एस आई यूनिट ऑफ द अपथ्रस्ट मैंसन वन फैक्टर ऑन विच द अपथ्रस्ट ऑफ लिक्विड डिपेंड्स सो एस आई यूनिट ऑफ अपथ्रस्ट इज न्यूटन and it basically depends upon many factors it depends upon the density of the liquid that is rho of the liquid rho of the substance and area of object which is in contact with water i hope it will be clear to you writing is not so i think you must listen carefully so basically jo hamara upthrust hai wo density of liquid pe depend kar raha hai density of substance pe depend kar raha hai and jo object humne submerge kari hui hai uska jo area water ke contact mein hai us pe depend kar raha hai matlab area jitna zyada hamara contact mein hoga वो अपथ्रस्ट फोर्स हमारा उतना ही ज़्यादा लगेगा सो दिस प्रिंसिपल इज यूटिलाइज इन द मेकिंग ऑफ शिप्स उसका सरफेस एरिया बहुत ज़्यादा रखा जाता है इंटेंशली जस्ट बिकॉज सरफेस एरिया हमारा जितना ज़्यादा होगा अपथ्रस्ट फोर्स उतना ही ज़्यादा लगेगा सो मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट पेज नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एन इमेज एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज प्लेस्ड In front of a converging lens at a distance greater than the twice of the focal length, draw the ray diagram. So basically, this is your convex lens. This is your focus, and this is your two f one. See, so object here on the back side, we have kept two f one. So its image, you know, and given and this is basically, I think uh, the second case. First is the when object is placed at the infinite, and second case is this. So you can go through the video, and you will find where the image is actually produced. So next, how much, how can work done measured when force is applied at an angle to the direction of displacement? So that work is given by F D cos theta. now derive the relation between ma vr and efficiency so this relation is again given in the video draw block and tackle system having vr of 3 so since vr is 3 so we basically have used three pulleys so so you can draw this is your first pulley this is your second pulley and your third pulley lies and yahan se hum basically load rakhenge ek this is your l एंड ये पुली को हमने नाउ यू हैव अ रोप ओवर देयर यहाँ पे आप एफर्ट लगाएंगे दिस रोप विल गो लाइक दिस सराउंडिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर रोप ये यहाँ से आती हुई एंड फिर यहाँ पे फाइनली जॉइन हो जाएगी सो नाउ यू हैव एफर्ट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर डायरेक्शन सो अर टेंशन फोर्स विल बी एक्टिंग हेयर दिस इज योर टें दिस इज योर टेंशन फोर्स again when this goes like this so this is your second tension force and third tension force will be there so you have three tension forces so you can see that load is acting downward which means l is equals to t plus t plus t that is 3t and your effort is equals to t so ma you can easily calculate load upon effort load upon effort so your ma is equals to load l upon effort l is equals to 3t and effort is t so both will get cancel so your ma will come as uh, ma is equal to 3 so now uh, second part is why does the lower block of this system should have negligible weight now in this particular video uh, picture you can see that this is the second block इट कैन ऑल्सो हैव टू पुलिस बट आई हैव डॉन सो अगर जो इसका वेट नेग्लेजिबल नहीं होगा तो अब बेसिकली लोड के साथ साथ क्या होगा इसका वेट भी डाउनवर्ड एक्ट करेगा इसका मतलब आपको यहाँ पर एफर्ट ज़्यादा लगाना पड़ेगा सो so, आपकी इफिशियंसी जो है वो हंड्रेड परसेंट नहीं रह जाएगी सो विच मीन्स इफ़ यू विश टू 
have the efficiency of this particular system as 100% then uh, the weight of the lower pulley should be equal uh, negligible or should be equal to 0. Now we have reached the second last question. So in this particular question we have been given a ray diagram something like this. A light ray is incident normally on the surface, perpendicularly on the surface. So, you know that normal incidence ke liye light ray will deviate. Nahi karegi. So, it will continue to trace, it, trace its original path. So, it will go and strike at this particular point. Now, you will draw normal. Sorry, figure is not correct. Uh, this is your ray. Now, this will continue to follow its original path you will draw normal here so this angle will be equal to 45 so now since this angle 45 is greater than the critical angle so this ray will um, occur a total internal reflection at this particular point so jab total internal reflection hota to incidence angle and uh, jo refraction angle dono hamare equal ho jate so which means this ray is reflected at an angle of 45 so 45 will be also will also be the refraction angle so this ray uh, comes out in this particular direction now if this prism is not there this ray might be going in this particular direction so you can see that this is original path hai, and this is our actual path hai. Dono ke beech ka jo, uh, del hai, that is deviation angle is 90 so it will be clear to you now uh, this is our last question so you have to prove with the ray diagram that real depth is greater than the so now this do have uh, this topic has been explained but i will again show you how this happens so this is a system you know uh, suppose this uh, container have some water in it this is an object which is placed at this particular depth so there are two rays first rays which is going normally this ray is incident normally so it will continue to trace, it, trace its original path but another ray is going at some particular angle so now we will draw a normal here this is your normal so now uh, this since this ray is going from water to air so it will be refracted away from the normal so yes direction mein jayegi. sorry this so now uh, we can see that this refracted ray and this ray will seem to meet at this particular point so so this is the location of your image this is your eye so you can see that abhi object original depth hamara ye tha but hame wo thoda upar dikhai padegi just because of refraction so ye jo length hai aapka ye apparent depth hai and this is the real depth so up dekh sakte hai ki real depth is always greater than the apparent depth actually uh, i have a writing problem i don't have a metallic pen or uh, a pen with which i can write on the screen so there are some problems so i hope all the things will be clear to you if you have any problem you can ask me so with this i wind up this particular video i hope uh, you will be clear to the solution given to you of your assignment 5 i will give the solution of other assignments also thank you